Hey guys, thanks for seeing my video and thanks for giving me feedback. I've got one of the feedback asking, can I use Gemini model? So what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to use Gemini model, Gemini API up and running with the help of Google Colab. But I was thinking why people ask for Gemini. Let me look into it. When I researched, I understood if somebody wants to create a chatbot which can chat, which can analyze data, which can help you in real time, the first tool which comes in our mind is OpenAI. But to use OpenAI, you need a budget. Fortunately, there is a free yet powerful alternative, Google's Gemini API, a cutting edge AI model that can elevate your project. But how do you set it up? Let's look into it. So this is the code what I have written. As like every time, I have put forward the code, I have given the context about the code, what exactly does, does that means, right? In the first line, you have, I have put forward all the links where you can connect with me, you can share your comments. I'm going to share the code link in the description box too. Before I go ahead and explain you the code, let me go ahead and first explain you with the help of a slide, some important things about Google Gemini API, and then I'll come back to the code. So we are going to use Google Gemini API, and we are going to do multiple activities on that. Of course, a normal chat, a multi-model, a word embedding, trying to understand whether a given prompt is, has any kind of security issues, Right? So there are multiple things which we are going to see. Let's go ahead. So people who don't know what is Gemini, Gemini is nothing but something similar to ChatGPT. So, but it is developed by Google. It is, it is also a next generation AI kind of model, versatile capabilities, has a lot of uh, accessibility options, right? The only thing is that to access it, you have to use Google AI Studio. So I will show you how to create a key where we are going to go to that website and very quickly create our keys from there. Okay, which way I'm going to show you. So as I was sharing, so to create a Gemini API API key, you have to go to the Google AI Studio. You have to you have to click on creating the key, and then once you have that, then you have to install the required libraries, and you have to do a configuration and of authentication, and then we are, we would be able to use the Google uh, Google Gemini API, right? So what are the things which you're going to do? A very simple generating text response, which is something uh, as a start of any kind, any kind of LNM models is required. So I'm going to, I'm going to start the concept with the, with that. Then I'm going to do a multi-model capabilities where I'm going to upload an image and based on that image, the LNM Gen Google Gemini API is going to tell me what exactly that image is. You can give me a summarization also. I'm going to look into token limitation, token optimization kind of stuff. So when we think about LNM, we think about tokens, right? So we are going to see how to calculate your tokens. We are going to do a word embedding where we are going to understand what is the similarity between those, between those words. We are also going to look into safety, safety controls, whether the given text is harassment, hate speech, dangerous, sexual content. So it's a very quick understanding of various capabilities of Google Gemini API. Okay. So if you have any question anywhere, do, do let me know. At the end, so it has an API key. It can be set up very quickly within a minute and the possibilities are endless. Okay. So now let's jump to the code part. So I have already given you the link to this code in the description box. Okay. If you have any issue, do let me know. Now, as we go, so you have to install the required libraries as, as normal, right? The one important thing which you need to run this code is the API key, like every LNM model. Okay. So to get that API key, you have to click on this link. I've al already opened that link. So this, it looks like something like this. So before you do something like this, right? If you don't know what is a Google cloud console, so you have to go to Google cloud console and you have to create one project, at least one project then you will be able to create a key. Okay. So this is my Google cloud console page. So you can go come here. You can create, uh, you can create new project. Okay. You can name anything to that project. Okay. So I have already created the project, so I won't do this. So once you come, come here. So once you create a key API key, it is going to ask you a goal project. So you can select the same project, what you have created, and then it will be able to create a key. So, which I have already created it. Okay. So coming back to my, Google Colab screen. Once you have that, so now to upload, so instead of using the key directly into the code, hard, hard coding is not good. So I'll click on this key symbol and I will 
upload my key here. So basically what I have done, I have created a new secret. So you can say goal API key, you can put forward your key, okay, here and then allow this to be used later. So which I'll keep it here like this. So if you come down, I have used the Google API key. So it's running well. So these are all the models which are available in Gemini. Okay, so I have used Gemini 1.5 flash. Okay, for my model. So the first prompt what I have asked is what is India as an emotion. So this is the response what I have got. It's a proper summary of of the prompt what I have given. If I if I think India as an emotion, it the multiple contexts what it it feels the pride nostalgia. So this is this is a prompt response. So this is a very straightforward one. Okay, so this is the candidates. What is what are the uh, other other different different prompt which came in uh, came in LNM models mind? So it has put forward as a candidate, but it gave me one response, the best possible response. Okay, this is the all the things. Please go and look into it. There are multiple things what I have done. So I, I would just go direct to the multi model. So this is the image what I have uploaded, and I have asked the. LLM Gemini model to explain me what is this image is about okay so it has explained me that it is a high angle close-up view of two glass food container filled with teriyaki chicken and vegetable stir fry so very nicely it has explained me so I've asked to give me a summary of it also so it, is, it has given me a summary too right then the next thing what I have done is how do I count are tokens because understand the current model what I have I'm running is free but when you go to a paid model so it is going to be based on tokens so how do you count the token so I have asked like on the given prompt what I have given so what is the number of tokens so the response is how many tokens right so there is one more thing what I have done is called embedding so embedding is technically helps us to understand what is the similarity between the prompts so I have given multiple prompts so it has given me the similarity. So the similarity would be based on the vector. If you don't know what uh, what is vectors, what is similarities between the text, let me know. I'm happy to create a video on that too. Right. So this is the that part. The safety settings is nothing but based on the given prompt. It is going to give me whether the given prompt has any kind of issue in terms of harassment, in terms of sexual content. So it's basically the the given prompt i cannot provide a response to a prompt that so basically it is, it is telling me that the given prompt is doesn't contain any kind of any kind of issues okay and i've done multiple other stuff so please go ahead and look into this code if you have any issue in this code it put forward in the comment happy to help you guys right and make sure that you subscribe and like because it does support me, does inspire me to create more and more videos in future. Okay, thank you guys. As you have finished this video, now you know how to create a chatbot using Google's Gemini API. If you want to know how to create with the help of OpenAI, click on this video.